cover y'all your toes, curl the front of that block. Get a real good monkey grip with your toes. Then you guys extend this back foot, it's off the box, and it's straight. I guess the only thing on the block still is this foot. You gotta have a good grip with that block so you can push yourself that way. You're not trying to do a rainbow. If you a flat on the blocks, not over the corner, you're pretty much you're gonna slip, or you're not gonna get a good grip that way, you're just gonna do a little rainbow. So make sure your front toes are over the front of that block. Getting a good grip so that when you're you pulled yourself forward, you're now on the front of the block, you kind of imagine the earth is turning 90 degrees, you're trying to jump off the block that way. Your tendencies are that you're not pulling on the blocks real hard, and you're not getting straight off the blocks. If you use your arms, I just told the last group, if you use your arms, you get to add a, a little bit more energy to what your legs are doing. It's not just a jump. Like in basketball, all you can do to try to jump in basketball is jump as hard as you can and maybe throw your arms up to get a little momentum going. In swimming, we get to be from, from the blocks, we actually have a grab. On like track starts and track, you can actually grab and pull on a block. So you get to add the muscles of your arms into a pool off with your legs. So if you have traditionally weak legs, and so one of y'all just kind of fell in, hope the water came to you, you could actually use your arms to get a little bit more uh, velocity going forward.